Thomas, and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our topic today is get your gym sales production back on track. Now, there's a lot of club owners out there, a lot of managers, a lot of salespeople that, you know, you're not hitting your numbers, you're not hitting your quotas, uh, you're not getting the production you want, you're not making the money you want. And I think most everybody, you know, wants to accomplish this. Nobody you know, wants to fail at it. Nobody wants to struggle at it. Nobody wants to not make money. And, you know, we talk to some of these folks, they become clients. We talk to some others that, that don't. And there's some things that we continue to see even when people recognize the fact they need to improve. Here's number one. You must stop making excuses. You know, we keep hearing it. Well, it's the time of year. It's going to be tough. Well, that's really not how we do it. Well, but we do all those things you're talking about. You know what? If you did, you'd be making sales. Okay. It's not the time of the year. It's not the pricing. It's not the competition. You know, the thing you have to remember is it has to be you. And the reason it has to be you is that's all you have control over. So to simply take control of it. You know, I think everyone's heard that saying, you know, when you point a finger at somebody else, there's three more pointing back at you. You know, stay true to that. You know, be accountable. Stop making excuses. It, it distracts us from reality. Number two, you know, when you're looking to get things back on track, get rid of the negatives. You know, if you have negative staffing in your club, get rid of them. If you're the person that's in negative, you know, stop. OK, you know, you have to go positive. You have to have that positive outlook. You have to have that winning approach. You have to have that can do. Yes, we're going to do this. We can't continually say, I, I wish I would have. I should have. Um, uh, it's the time of year. It's going to be tough. You have to get rid of this way of thinking. Now, if you've got a situation whereby, you know, your whole staff's a whole different issue there, but you still need to identify, you know, maybe who the who the bell cow is amongst amongst that negativity. You know, get them out of the operation if they can't change their ways. But the other thing, get yourself a, a recruiting plan of action together. And when I say a recruiting plan of action, I'm not simply saying, hey, place an ad. I'm talking about, you know, get um, take massive action, you know, to recruit people and get people in place because you know many times the reason we keep these negative people in place is we don't feel like we have a replacement well what you want to have is you want to have options and people that you can bring in here at all times you simply cannot have that negativity in there to get the results that you're looking for and lastly you need to take massive action you can't simply be a station to station kind of a thing. I mean, from a, a prospecting and a marketing standpoint, you know, this needs to be a full court press and you're doing everything, everything to attract attention to your business, everything to attract attention to yourself as a salesperson. If you're trying to recruit, you're doing everything. I mean, get 20, 30, 40, 50 things that you're doing to get your name out there. Everywhere people turn, you want to make sure they're seeing you making sure we're following up, making sure we're prospecting, we're making phone calls, you know, we're, we're doing social media, we're, we're on YouTube, you know, we're doing all these things to attract attention to ourselves. You do this, this will be the first step. This isn't everything, but this is that first step. And this is what we seem to see is where it really gets difficult a lot of times for people to really engage. And really the first thing I guess needs to happen is you have to accept the fact that, you know, this is real. If your numbers are down, let's get this taken care of first, and then we can get into process and fundamentals and, you know, a strategic approach to getting this done. My name is Jim Thomas, and this has been the Fitness Management Update.